In September 2018, residents of Westbury, west of Johannesburg, took to the streets in protest of the woman was killed in a gang-related shooting outside the Rema Musa Hospital. The shooting saw residents taking to the streets, demanding that the government clamp down on crime and drug dealing in the area. The area is plagued by a turf war between gangs such as the Fast Guns and the Veradors, with members fighting over territory. Jacaranda FM News sat down with one of the members of the Fast Gangs who asked to remain anonymous. He has been part of the Fast Gang since he was 17 years old. I'm a Fast Gun from 18 years, 17 years. Then I was already there selling drugs, selling drugs just to make cash because my parents didn't provide so much for me. You have to go kill someone to be a fast gun. And it's also drugs going on. So you, so, so it's like this. So we have to go to prison so you can get a 187 number. That means I uh, love to die. And it's like uh, we can't enter the territory of the Varados. There's the people that we're fighting because they, 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 they're shooting at us on our side because we're selling drugs and they're selling drugs. In nuclear, there's most of us guns. And in Vaterfall, next to the police station, there's only Varados that side. If you're, a, if you're a fast gun, you can't walk that side. Or the people is going to kill you that side. Was Barry resident Charlene Smith, who has been living in the area over the past 40 years, says no one is safe in the community. You not, we really don't feel safe because your life has become nothing into the hands of these uh, people. And um, when it's a killing, it's just another thing. Mm. We've accepted this as a normal thing that's happening on a daily basis, and it's so not fair. Um, there's a lot of people that moved out of Westbury. And we also felt the same some time ago. We wanted to sell this house and move out just for the safety of us, the young guys that we're staying with, and then the grandchildren. I don't think, don't think people are safe, like our parents and things like that. They're not safe. Parents are not safe for... Like when you walk around the outside, you're only shooting. We shoot. We don't play. You understand? Some of, some of the people, they're not sure who they're shooting. They're just shooting because they're high. You understand? So, uh, this is deep, it's deep, it's, it don't stop now, it's going on till because it comes from a long time ago, understand? Okay. Smith says the community has reported drug-related cases to the police, however their calls have fallen on deaf ears. Honestly speaking, the police is honestly not working with us. Uh, most of them is on the payrolls of these drug dealers, and that is a uh, thing that we know about. Unfortunately, we don't al always have uh, um, valid proof of that because when you go to the police station and you uh, say these things to the other high authority, you know, uh, they want uh, proper evidence. And it's not uh, something that we always have. But I mean, uh, people won't say things that they don't know. So uh, um, from the police side, I'm sorry to say it, they don't work with us. Police, is, they, they also work with us, you understand? We also pay them money. You know, like Kina give give them always money. You understand? Like Finch also give them always money, so they can they can like they don't come there where we selling drugs and things like that. If they come, we give them something, so they go away. So the police, even if you get get arrested, when we get arrested, they get they get paid, or the doc, uh, the the doctor get lost or something like that. You understand? Yeah. But the gang, but the gang start from inside in jail. That's where that's where the gang built. Yes. Explain that how it starts in jail. It's like in jail it's like it's like you can see right, it's like uh there's different cells. Like cell one is all fast guns, cell four is varados, it's mixed up, you understand? Like uh E section. Most of the E section you in the E section you'll get most of uh pallets that are in this, you understand? And say with varados or fast guns, you understand? Yeah. Yeah, like Sophia Town. And they send us drugs in the in jail. We get drugs in jail through through the cops. So when when we shoot someone, we don't really care because we're not going to suffer here. Because our boss is gonna send us money. You understand? He's gonna he's gonna like send us money in the court. In the court when we go to court then we get then we get the food, then we get the money inside the food. And drugs. 
so the business is also going on inside in jail. That's why when we come out of jail, then we was. The national spokesperson of police, Vishnadu, told Jakaranda at the news that police would not tolerate corruption within its ranks. Remember when the community of Westbury mobilized, some of the issues that they've raised to the minister and the national commissioner was that there was, um, there was corruption. Um, and of course now it's, it's becoming evident after the arrest of these two police officers. And we are dealing with this. The National Commission of Police said that corruption will not be tolerated. And uh, the arrest of these two police officers is an indication that nobody is above the law and that we will take action against those that, have, that are found to be corrupt. Police Minister Beggy Gale has asked National Police Commissioner Ketla Setole to investigate alleged corruption and misconduct at the Sophia Town Police Station. Gale has deployed over 130 TRT officers who are tasked with stabilizing the area. Now, Mutlowing Jokaranda, FM News, Westbury.